My name is Evie and I am a local rep, foster home, and an approved seller for Lycos. My online store is hermitharbor.com. I carry shells and nutritional supplements. Through helping people in the Facebook groups and selling shells, I've noticed there is a lot of confusion and frustration surrounding measuring and selecting hermit crab shells. In this video, we are going to go over the tools you can use, the techniques for measuring the different types of openings, and how to measure some of the particularly tricky crabs that either won't tuck into their shells or just don't fit in their shells. You can use a standard ruler. I prefer the clear or translucent rulers. You can see through for the shell opening, but a standard ruler will do. If you use a tape measure, just make sure that you don't bend it and distort your measurements. Keep it flat. I measure my shells and I recommend most people use these as well. It's a digital caliper. These have one part that measures the inside of the opening this measures outside dimensions. So you'll want to insert this part into the shell, but there are times where you're going to need to get outside measurements. You're going to use this part of the caliper. Finally, we're going to go over the template. You can get this on my website, hermitharbor.com, under Hermit Crab Info on the shells down towards the bottom. It's a free download. And with this, it has from half inch to almost two and a quarter inch shell opening sizes. Download it, print at 100%, make sure you do that, otherwise it will not be accurate. And once you have it printed out, cut out the circles, leaving the dotted line intact. I like to add a little bit of, keep a little bit of paper on there to hold on to. Now when you use these, there is a dotted line in the center. That is meant to be folded in half to use these for measuring a D or round excuse me, a D or oval shaped opening. So leave it fully round. For a round opening turbo, fold it in half for your Ds or ovals, and we will go over that in more detail. Before we get into measuring shells, I wanna talk about how shells are sold. They will be sold either by the overall outside dimensions or the dimensions of the shell's opening. You need to look through the photographs, read the descriptions, and look for those indicators. If they say that it is the shell's opening, you need to find out if the seller is measuring the shell's opening on the outside of the opening from here to here or the inside of that shell's opening, which is how I'll be showing you in this video. Now, if they don't say that the dimensions listed are the opening, it's best to assume they are giving you the overall outside dimensions of the shell. That's from this point to this point. So read the description carefully. If you're not sure, contact the seller and find out how they are measuring their shells. I highly recommend you check the Lycos approved seller directory and buy your shells from those suppliers. They have been checked out by the Lycos team and have a great reputation. They are selling specifically for hermit crabs. They know what you need and you can trust buying from these sellers. There are three types of openings and we're gonna go over each individually. The first that we're gonna go over is the Murex. These are oval openings. They're not quite round, they're not a D. These are oval openings. Now with the Murex, if you are measuring the overall dimensions, it's from this point to this point. The opening, one common mistake that I see, people include this part of the shell. You are only measuring from this point over to this point. So from here to here, that's the part that you measure on these. The next is our D-shaped openings. This is a Babylonia shell. You can see when it's turned this way, it's kind of straight up and down here and rounded over there. Now with these, measuring the outside, it's from this point to this point. When measuring the opening, you're gonna measure from here to here. Your round opening turbos, outside from here to here, <clears throat> and the inside is from here to here.
The most common mistake I find people make when ordering shells is they order the same size D round and oval openings. The problem is, and I'll illustrate it here, these two shells, this D and this round, the way we measure shells, their openings, these are almost identical in size, but you can clearly see a crab that would fit in this shell won't fit in this shell. So there are ways around that. When you have your D-shaped opening, instead of measuring side to side like we typically do, you can also measure from top to bottom. That will be roughly the size of a round opening. You can see, for example, this shell and this shell. This one is about 50% smaller than this D opening, but you can see this is about the right size for one crab. So he would wear this size D and about this size round. The two ways I'm going to show you to measure the opening is the outside of the opening and the inside of the opening. I measure my shells on the inside where the crab uses one leg and one claw to block the opening and protect themselves. So that's inside from here to here. So with the caliper, you can see from there to there. If the seller that you're going to be purchasing from measures the outside of the opening, use the outside measurement part of your caliper and set it here and here. So this particular shell measuring on the outside comes up at 1.53 and on the inside it measures 1.14. For the D-shape opening, the overall dimensions are measured from this point to this point. The inside is from here to here. I'm going to show you how to do the measurement with the template. This is a 1.1 circle that I have folded in half. So it is 1.1 inches from here to here. And you just insert that into the measuring point. So this particular shell is a little bigger than 1.1, but it's not quite a 1.2. Now a quick cheat on this. If you want to get round opening turbos that are equivalent in size to this shell is to find the circle that will fit in that opening. So this 0 0.70, that's giving me a hard time to sit just right. You can see that circle fits roughly into that opening. So you would know the size of this D-shaped opening is a little bigger than 1.1 and an equivalent round opening is going to be somewhere in the 0.7 size range. You can take your caliper and measure up and down that way. That will also find the rough equivalent round opening size. Now let's go over the pica, also called a magpie. These are uh, very common for the wild-caught hermit crabs to come in with. These shells get a lot of people confused. They will measure from over here to over here and end up with a significantly larger opening than their crab needs. These are round openings. So if you turn it this way, there we go, you can see the round opening there. You do not measure this additional flared bit of this shell. If you did, I measured this one, it's almost two inches from here to here. If you'd measured it like that and ordered a two inch opening, you would end up with this shell. That is a two inch opening. It'll be a long time before your crab can fit in here. So when you go to measure these, it's probably going to be easier to measure from here to here. It's gonna be hard to get the opening um, 
from here to here. Another thing you may encounter with these is your crab doesn't quite fit in them. So you might need to go to the leg and claw measuring technique. We're gonna go over that a little bit more. Now, if your crab just came out of this shell and fit quite well in there, you can measure that opening. You can also use the template to insert just into that opening. like that. Another shell I've had to help people with is the giant land snail. Do not buy these for your crabs. They don't like them. They will wear them if they don't have any other options because something's better than nothing, but don't buy these shells. If your crab is in one of these, you're going to have a hard time measuring it. You can see this opening. It's irregular. It's very challenging to measure. Uh, every single time I've helped somebody with these, their crab doesn't quite fit. It's even hard to get a leg and a claw measurement. You're really gonna have to work on trying to get a best guesstimate. And your leg and claw, or just measuring from here to here and kind of eyeball it, these are tricky, but definitely don't buy these giant land snails. When it's actually time to go and measure your crabs, make sure you have everything ready that you need. If you might need to take a recording, get your phone set up on a tripod, set to record a video, have your tools ready, then bring the crab out. You want to move quickly and efficiently, keeping it as least stressful as possible for the crab. So I just brought a crab out from one of my tanks and she's fairly comfortable being handled. She will readily come out of the shell to explore. So I'll get to give you a demonstration on how to encourage your crab to retract back into their opening and also a demonstration on getting the leg and claw measurement. And hopefully she doesn't pinch me on camera. Okay. And I say she, I haven't sexed her or it. So you can tell she's quite comfortable coming out and grabbing my fingers with her legs. So as she comes out again, I'm just gonna take the ruler from up above and bring it down. And you see she retracted back into her shell. So now I would be able to get the measurement of the shell. The other measuring technique is to measure the leg and claw. When they are retracted, you are going to be measuring, do it this way, oh, go back in, uh, she won't go back in. There we go, now she's tucking in. So you would measure the leg and the claw, that's where you get that measurement. And that measurement, now she's not fully retracted, she could go back in a little further, but that measurement from here to here is another way to determine what size round opening you need. So if you can get that measurement, but not the measurement of the opening, maybe they don't fit in their shell, you can use that as well. So that concludes this video on how to measure. If you have any questions or wanna learn everything else you need to know about shells, make sure to catch my live session tomorrow. Becca Freeland is gonna be helping me on that. We're gonna go over everything else you need to know about selecting shells, what to buy, what to avoid, how to inspect shells, You'll be able to ask questions, including any questions you have from watching this video. You can go to my website, hermitharbor.com, and on the Hermit Crab info page, Hermit Crab Shells, there's information on how to measure. And then towards the bottom of that page is the link for the free PDF download that you can print out. Make sure when you print it, you have your printer set to 100%. And that's 
it for me. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of CrabCon 2022. Thank you.